Hello guys, Mini Money here, and welcome back to another video. Now today, um, I didn't actually have any stream highlights from yesterday because it was Subscriber Sunday, and I didn't actually have too many kills, any good kills, uh, to put in the highlights for you guys. But today, I thought I'd try something different. I'd make a video where I'm telling you guys all of the FAQ, the sort of frequently asked questions that I get asked on my streams, on the videos and stuff, and address a few questions that you guys have about my Fortnite gaming uh, and what I do and how I play the game and stuff like that. So uh, here we are, I've got five questions here, and the first question is about this. My inventory layout. What is it? What are you doing? Why have you got your shotgun first? And why is your AR in the middle of it? Now I have a very good reason for this. Obviously the first question is, why do you organise your inventory like that? What a weirdo. Um, my main reason is, I have a shotgun first, as you can see. A shotgun, uh, an SMG of some sort, like a drum gun. Uh, then an AR, and then a sniper, and then uh, some minis or, or some, some form of healable on the right hand side. The reason for that is that uh, if I want to quickly switch between the two, uh, it's mainly between the SMG and the AR. So if I want to keep up the pressure on the AR, uh, then I can quickly switch to that SMG. Um, essentially, people say that you should put your AR first and then your, your sniper in the end, and it's just, what's the point really? Because on PC, yes, fair enough, because people can switch very easily, they can just switch straight to a certain slot, but when you think about it, if you've got a shotgun in the first slot, I organise them in order of effective range. So you've got a shotgun in the first slot, say like you're in a battle, you've got a shotgun, and then you sort of create a little bit of distance between them, then you want to click right, to the SMG, and then right again to the AR, and then if, you, if you're if you very far away from them, then you use your sniper, and vice versa. Obviously, if you're quite far away, you get your sniper out first, you click left because you're getting closer in, and then you click left again because you're getting to the SMG range, and then you click left again to go to the shotgun. I think it works well, so you guys like to have a go at me about it, but that's why I do it. It's because I can quickly switch to uh, both the uh, SMG and also the AR, Whereas on the other one, you wouldn't be able to do that because you'd have your your um, your AR first and then you'd have the shotgun second. So you couldn't quickly switch and keep up that pressure. If someone's out building you, then you want to keep up that pressure and uh, make them waste their mats. Another reason is, of course, the fact that the sniper is on the end of the row of guns. So essentially you hit a snipe and then you can uh, quickly try and get your AR shot off to the left of it. So you click the L1 and then you can uh, quickly switch to your AR to keep up the pressure and obviously uh, if you don't hit your snipe then you can quickly go and get them with the AR. So that's my inventory setup, why I do it like that, why it's organized like that. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, the second question is the sensitivity. Now what sensitivity do you play on Mini Miner? How, do you, how does this affect your building and why do you play on your specific sensitivity? Um, I play on 7.7 sensitivity on console on PS4 and then for the ADS sensitivity and all that I play on 5.5.5.5. Five, 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 five. Um, I tried 8.8 eight, eight, but it was too quick and I wanted to get a balance between aim and building because I knew my building wasn't quite up to scratch um, and it wasn't quite quick enough so what's the point in making it a higher sensitivity if I want to focus on shooting because I did try it on 8.8, eight. yes the building was a little bit quicker, a little bit sharper but my aim was very much harmed by that, really. Uh, it wasn't the best, and I couldn't hit any shotgun shots. I couldn't hit the uh, the markers when you're trying to farm things, so it was taking me longer to farm things. Couldn't hit my snipes. So it's one of those things. I decided to go back down to 7-7, seven, seven, and for me, it's working. For me, it's working. I might go up again in the future and try and get used to it, but uh, that is my sensitivity, and that is why I play on that sensitivity, because it's perfect for me. I like, the, I like to try and aim, I like to try and hit my shots, and at the end of the day, Fortnite, if you don't if you don't shoot anyone, you don't hit your shots, you're not going to get kills, are you? Okay, so the next question that I get quite a lot is the favourite gun question. What is your favourite gun? Mini Miner, what is your favourite gun in the whole of Fortnite? I get this quite a lot on my live streams, people come on and say, what is your favourite gun, uh, why do you like it, and uh, what really use does it have in your inventory and your style of play um, and now my answer to that is always the bolt sniper um, I'd say I'm a very decent sniper I don't think I'm a particularly amazing sniper but sniping is one of the better aspects of my games if you watch some of my sniping montages and stuff uh, they're pretty good they're pretty they're pretty above average I'd say but uh, I like to fight from afar I think it is one of my better aspects of my game. Up close, I do need to work on. That's what I mentioned about the sensitivity thing. I may need to up the sensitivity because of that. But uh, my favourite gun is the bolt sniper. It's one of the few shot. Uh, it's one of the few guns now uh, that you can do uh, 200 damage with. Uh, and kill someone straight away. I think it's just that and the heavy sniper you can do 200 damage with. Because obviously they nerfed the shotguns and stuff. Everything's been nerfed. So it's nice to have that sort of instant shot. Because 
That's why I always put a sniper in my inventory. I don't use explosives anymore. I don't have a slot for them. Uh, so as, as you saw in the inventory uh, section, I don't have a slot for, for, for any explosives because they're not as effective anymore. They're not as effective. Season 5 is the spray meta, the, the SMG. I didn't used to take any SMGs. So uh, the bolt sniper is definitely always going to be in my inventory, or any sniper really for that matter. Just any sniper has to be in my inventory. If I find one, it's going in. It's replacing grenades. It's replacing uh, uh, even a gold rocket launcher would be replaced by a blue hunting rifle or a green hunting rifle. It just will. So uh, that is just my style of play. And to answer the question, my favorite gun is the Bolt Sniper. Another question I get quite a lot is the favorite skin question. Mini Miner, what is your favorite skin in the whole of Fortnite? Now, obviously, I've been playing Fortnite since the end of Season 2. So I've got a lot of skins from the Battle Passes, the Battle Pass Season 3, 4, and 5. And also, I've bought a couple of skins in the shop along the way. But my favorite skin will always be, most likely anyway, the John Wick from Season 3. There was Tier 100 John Wick from the Season 3 Battle Pass. The reason why I like it is because it's just so simple. It's such a cool skin, simple skin. Not many people have them now because obviously they're not going to release it back in the store. It was a Battle Pass exclusive. Um, so nobody's going to have it. Nobody's going to be able to buy it very soon. So it's kind of a, it's kind of unique. Um, and I pair it with the Ravage Wings as well, which is my favorite uh, combination, which is uh, pretty, pretty cool. Uh, I don't see many of those. I don't I, I don't think I've actually seen a John Wick with Ravage wins, uh, Wings. So I think I've done pretty well in that aspect. But I, I think... The John Wick with the Love Ranger Wings was was cool, but so many people had it. The Rav uh, the Ravage Wings with the John Wick is my favourite skin combination. But it's just been such a it's just such a cool skin since season three, and I know a lot of like, memes were made about it, and people some people love it, some people hate it. But uh, it did it was a little bit out of the blue for season three. Let's be honest, it was a lot of astronauts, a lot of space theme, and then John Wick just comes out of nowhere. But uh, it is my favourite skin, it is the one that I'll always go back to, and uh, that answers the question of what is your favourite skin. My favourite skin is the John Wick, i.e. the Reaper. Now finally, the last question that I get asked quite a lot is my stats. Now, many minor, what is your stats? How many wins you got? How many matches you played? And uh, how many places you've been in top 10? How many in top 25? Um, now, obviously, this is outdated. As soon as this video goes out, it's going to be outdated. I'm going to have got a win, I'm going to go places in top 25, I'm going to play more games. But, as of the 10th of September, this... Uh, these are my stats right here. Uh, as you can see, 21 solo wins out of 1,284 games. Realistically, that's not very good. 22 hours and 23 minutes ma uh, time play, which doesn't seem right. Um, well, um, yeah, it probably seems about right. I don't know. Um, but then placed in top 10, 218. So it's not too bad. I just, obviously, half of the, uh, just under half of the uh, times I'm in top 25. I'm in top 10, which is pretty which is pretty good. I, I'd, I'd say that's all right. Uh, so 21 wins out of 1,200 games. It's not the best, but obviously I try and do challenges and stuff as well. Um, and generally, I don't play the game off stream. So uh, it's just on stream stuff. So I think it's, I think it's all right. But uh, there is work to be done. I need to try and improve in a lot of aspects. And obviously, a lot of... A lot of the time, the players get better around you as well. So if you go for a week, if you don't play it for a little while... The players have got so much better, and it's uh, it's incredible. Now let's move on to duo. My I've got duo uh, fifteen duo wins with uh, seven hundred and fifty eight matches played with eight hundred and forty eight eliminations, and uh, one hundred and nine places in top five and two hundred and forty six in top twelve. So in the top twelve, um, that's not too bad. Two hundred and forty six out of seven fifty eight. That's mm, it's quite low, I suppose, but. It's, over, well, just under half of the times that I've uh, that I've been in top 12, I've also been in top 5 with duos as well. So 15 duo wins. And finally, squads, 22 wins. Did I get 21 in solos? Yes, the squads are my most wins, uh, with the least matches played, actually. So uh, I don't play much squads, actually. That's not something I do too often. Uh, so 42 places in top 3, and uh, 70 places in top 6. So whenever I'm in top 6, I'm pretty much in top 3 as well. Uh, over half, uh, quite a lot over half uh, the... Uh, the play the times and when I'm in top six, I'm in top three as well. 389 elim eliminations and 336 matches played in squads with 22 wins. So what is that? That is 43 plus 15 is 58 wins in total. Uh, that uh, those are my stats, I should say. Uh, and that is how I do in Fortnite. I think I've played. Well, adding them all up, let's have a look. 
let's say that's 2,000 games between solo and duo, 2,300 games, let's say 2,400 games I've played, and I've got uh, 58 wins in total, so not too bad considering uh, that I play it on stream and on stream only, so it's okay, but I'm working on it guys, I'm working on it. So there you go guys, that is the FAQ, the Fortnite Frequently Asked Questions video. I didn't actually have any highlights from yesterday's stream, so hopefully you guys did enjoy that. Hopefully you learned a little bit about me, my Fortnite playing style, and how maybe you can implement some of these things into your game too. So there we go guys, thank you all for watching this video once again today. I'll be back tomorrow for another video and live stream. Thank you for watching once again, and I will see you all tomorrow for another daily video. Goodbye.